Welcome to our podcast, Two Effective Strategies for Dealing with a Bad Boss. Hi, I'm Tony Kubica, co-founder of Kubica LaForest Consulting. This podcast describes two strategies for dealing with bad bosses. Bad bosses are like weeds in a lawn. They're insidious. They choke out the grass and left unattended, make a beautiful landscape ugly. They kill motivation and suppress cooperation. But we know this, don't we? One study reported that 75% of the people say their immediate supervisor is the most stressful part of their job. Yet unqualified people are promoted into management positions every day. Then their bad behavior is tolerated and turnover and mediocrity is accepted as just the way it is. So what do you do if you're one of those unfortunate employees to be stuck with a bad boss? You work on two strategies simultaneously. One, you define and act on a strategy to remove yourself from this situation. And two, you define and act on a strategy to turn a bad situation into a tolerable one. The reason for the first strategy is obvious. You need a plan B. You need to know and firmly believe you have an option or options to play. As soon as you are convinced that you have viable options, whether it's to leave the organization or to transfer to another department, fear diminishes, and you become better positioned to take action. Let's take a moment on fear. Fear is immobilizing. Bullies are successful because they cause fear in their victims. Bad bosses can be bullies. Not all, mind you. Some are just incompetent. Options are the strongest tools we have for conquering a bad boss. Because once you have options... You don't care as much about the potential consequences of your actions. So how do you work on a strategy to remove yourself from the situation? We have six suggestions. One, activate your network and start networking now. Get your name out there. Two, update your resume. Three, take time to assess your strengths and weaknesses. What you do well, what you could do better. Four, Think about what your ideal next move could be. Five, add to your skill set, and we'll talk more about this in a few moments. And six, act on these steps every day. Action is liberating, and it prepares you for your next action step. Define and act on a strategy to turn a bad situation into a tolerable one. You can't successfully work with a boss whom you initially defined as bad. And that brings us to the second strategy. Think about it. If you see your boss as a jerk and everything he or she does is wrong, stupid, and shows incompetent behavior, then that's exactly what you'll get. The boss will notice your behavior and he or she will only get worse. And that one is on you. What if you took a different approach and you gave the boss the benefit of a doubt? You accepted the fact that this person may be inexperienced or insecure and there may be a chance for you to help them perform better. What would happen then? Well, you just may find yourself working in a more tolerable situation. So how should you approach this situation? Again, we have six suggestions. One, Take a different approach in dealing with the boss. Reframe. Two, ask for and take on a new project. That's right. Go on and find a way to do more. Three, actively work to understand the boss's strengths and weaknesses. Four, experiment with different ways to communicate with your boss. It may be in writing, it may be verbally, but experiment with different ways to effectively communicate with your boss. Five, stand up for yourself, show confidence. And six, reframe. Reframe the situation in a positive light. See it in terms of the potential for improvement and learning versus as a victim with no will or resources to change it. The key behind how to deal with a bad boss is your frame of mind. So in dealing with a bad boss, work to make this as positive a situation as possible. In the meantime, 
work aggressively on your plan B. As long as you have options in play, you are less likely to feel trapped or feel like a victim. For more information on key issues and topics on leadership and business growth, visit our blog, www.yourbusinessgyroscope.com. And our free articles, white papers, videos, and podcasts on our website, www.cubicalaforestconsulting.com. Thanks for joining us.